So the next uh, lesson, uh, you know, for module 12, which is all about measuring 2D and 3D figures, two-dimensional, three-dimensional figures. And in this one, we are going to talk about area of circles. Our learning target, I can find the area of circles given the radius or diameter using the formula for the area of a circle. Uh, the vocabulary that we are going to learn is area and semicircle, all right? So, um, basically, the area of a circle, when we say the formula, uh, it is pi r squared, okay? But I want you to have a comprehension as to how are we getting this pi r squared as the area. So, let's say I've just taken a circle like this, and I've cut it into... Uh, you know, 16 sections over here, okay? Uh, remember that each of this is a radius or radii, a lot of all together, and right across is the diameter, and this is the circumference, okay? So we've already done that in lesson 12.1. But I just want you to look at this, and when a circle is divided into sections, you can rearrange the sections to make a figure that uh, resembles a parallelogram, okay? So... It resembles a parallelogram. And you can then use the formula for the area of a parallelogram to derive the formula for the area of a circle. Okay? So let's look at this. Um, you know, this portion, uh, see there are eight sections. And so when I uh, make them join like this, look what happens. So th this, are, this is my 16 parts here. And this is the top half of the circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this is the bottom half, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So uh, as you can see, what am I doing? I'm rearranging the sections. And so it looks like a parallelogram. And we know, um, so this, this part over here is half the, half the circle. And so this is the base of the parallelogram. And then this is the height, okay? And we know that the area of a parallelogram is what? Base times height. Okay? So this is what? The area of a parallelogram. Okay? Now, um, we are going to now replace the H with R. Okay? Because that is what I'm calling as my height. So we are going to say... A is equal to base times R. I'm just trying to show you uh, the correlation. And then we know what is the base over here. This is going to be half C. Okay. So because B is half C, which is the base, half the circle, right? So half C. So therefore, area, area is equal to, I'm going to replace the B with the half C. And so I get half C times dr, okay? And we've already done that. What is the circumference? Half the circle, this is half the circumference, right? So this is half the circumference. And so when we're looking at C, that is representing the circumference. And so area is half the circumference. And we know that what is circumference is 2 pi r. Right? So half, and we're just going to replace the C with the formula we had derived earlier where we had said circumference is equal to 2 pi r or circumference is equal to pi times diameter. And that's what we had done in the earlier topic, right? So 2 pi r, and that is the area of the, of the circumference of a circle. So I'm going to replace the C with 2 pi r because we know the a formula for that. So this is going to be 2 pi r times the r. And so now we are going to just look at this and we are going to simplify and we get, we get, I get 2 divided by 2 that gives me 1. So I'm left with 1 times pi times r times r which gives me area as pi r squared. And so this is the area of a circle. But that is the correlation why we have this area so that you have a better comprehension of this.
All right. So now we know that the area of a circle or area is the measure of the interior surface of a two dimensional figure. And as with the area of polygons, the area of a circle is expressed in square units. And um, as we can see, we just calculated how to find the formula. So we know that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. Okay, now let's go ahead and calculate a problem. And let's say I am going to give you a circle with certain measurements. Okay, so if I make a circle and that's the center of the circle and if i say the radius is 14 and 2 and uh, 2 tenth inches um and we are going to use uh 3 and 1400 for pi is equal to 3.14 okay um what is going to be the area of the circle and we're going to round this to the nearest hundredth if necessary okay so we just based on what i showed you we know that area of a circle is pi r squared so area is pi r squared and then uh, what we're going to do is we are going to replace the value of the radius so area is equal to pi times what is the radius over there this is 14 and 2 10 so 14 and 2 10 squared that means 14 and 2 10 times 14 and 2 10 okay so then after that we are going to simplify and when i do 14 and 2 10 times 14 and 2 10 i get 201 and 64 hundredth so I get 201 and 6400, which is this amount, 14 and 2 tenth times 14 and 2 tenth times pi. And what, so I'm just going to write it like this so that you can see what I'm doing. So I have now solved this portion and I have given you that value after multiplying 14 and 2 tenth by itself. Okay. Now we've been told the value of pi is 3 and 14 hundredth. So now we are just going to substitute that value in. And now you can see that the equal to is changing to approximately because the value of pi is an approximation. All right. So we are going to do 201 and 6400 times 3 and 1400. And then when we multiply this, we are going to get area is approximately after multiplication we're going to get 633 and 1496 ten thousandth and then it said round to the nearest hundredth if necessary so which one is the hundredth place value this is the hundredth so we have to look at the thousandth place value. And when I look at the thousandth place value, we look at is this number five or higher? So it absolutely is. So that four is now going to change to a five. So we are rounding it to the nearest hundredth place value. And so my area is approximately 633 and 1500 square inches which I can write SQ inches or I can write inches squared. So this is my area of this shape. All right. Uh, let's do a second example. And for this, I'm just going to take you over here. All right. So let's look at this. So it's saying that the city of Wellington is commissioning a statue to honor their former mayor. The circular base of the statue will be 26 feet in diameter. What is the area of the space needed to fit the base of the statue? So we are going to use 3 and 14 hundredth for pi and then going to round to the nearest hundredth if necessary. 
So first thing what we have to do is we have to find, um, we know that area of a circle is pi r squared, okay? Uh, but what is actually provided to us? The diameter is provided to us. But what is radius? Radius is half the diameter. So I would take this 26 and I would divide it by 2. And that gives me 13 um, feet as my radius. So radius is going to be 13 feet because 26 divided by 2, I get 13 feet. And then I can start uh, replacing the value and I can say area is equal to pi times 13 squared and what is 13 times 13 is 169 so area is equal to 169 pi and then after that I am going to replace with the value of pi so this equal to changes to approximately because uh, again pi is an approximation and 169 times 3 and 1400 and then when I multiply that, I'm going to get area is approximately 530 and 6600 uh, square feet. Okay, you can write square feet like this or you can write feet squared. Do not put the exponent over the numerical part because otherwise that is something completely different. It would actually mean 530 and 6600 times 530, 6600. So please be careful that the exponential part goes after the unit. It's talking about square feet and that is what the area of a circle is. Okay, now um, let's quickly talk about a semicircle so that we understand what that means. And let me show you over here, okay? So if I have a circle like this, um, what would semicircle mean? Semicircle is nothing but if I take a circle and I do this, okay? And this is definitely going through the middle. We know this is the radius. All right, so what is semicircle? Semicircle is going to be half the circle. So if I just do this, this portion, okay? So semicircle is what? Half of a circle. Half of a circle is called a semicircle. And so now in order to find the area of a semicircle, um, what do we have? We have area is what? Of a circle is pi r squared. In here, we have two of them, two semicircles in one circle, right? So that is why this is going to be half of pi r squared. Or I can also say pi r squared divided by two would give me semicircle, all right? Because they are two semicircles in one circle. So half pi r squared um, divide, so is going to be my area of a semicircle, all right? So now um, I'm going to give you an example. Um, let's do a problem, which I have just put up on the board again. And here we go. All right, so let's look at this one and it's talking about a wireless fence transmitter at the back door of a house allows a dog to roam freely within a semicircle that has a radius of 30 feet. Okay, so this radius is 30 feet. Okay, uh, what is the area of the space the dog has to roam? and use 3.14 for pi and round to the nearest hundredth if necessary. So we just talked about uh, that they are, see this, this is half a semicircle, uh, sorry, half a circle. So that's why this is a semicircle. The radius over here 
this is going to be 30. Okay, so now we know, so this is, this is, the, this is 30 uh, a foot radius, okay? And we know that, that in a circle, I have two semicircles, so therefore the area of a semicircle is going to be half pi r squared. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to substitute the value. Uh, I already have, what is r? It is 30. So I am going to do 1 half pi times 30 squared. Okay, and what is 30 times 30? I get 900, right? 30 times 30 gives me 900. And what is 900 divided by 2? I get 450. Okay, so therefore my area is 450 pi. Okay, 450 pi. And now what I'm going to, so here we go. We just got that area is equal to 450 pi. You can see better on the white than on the colored portion. That's why I'm writing it here. Okay, and so now I'm going to do uh, the value of pi. So I'm going to now change. This is going to become an approximation. 450 times 3 and 1400, which is the value of pi that we are using. And therefore, when I go ahead and I multiply this, okay, I get area is approximately equal to 1413, okay? So, and then we're talking about feet, so square feet. And this is the area of this shape, of the semicircle. All right? Now, uh, sometimes uh, we have to use circumference to find the area, and circumference will be provided to us. Okay? So, let me come back here. Okay? And I'm going to go ahead and erase this part. All right. Let me just do this. And if I give you a circle, all right, and I give you the circumference is 18 and 8400 uh, meters. And then if I say, um, here's my radius. Okay, so find the radius. So what we're gonna do when you know the circumference of a circle, you can work backward to find the area of the circle. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna find the radius. All right, and so circumference is equal to what? Two pi r. So 2 pi r gives me circumference. Now, I already know the circumference over here, which has been provided to me. So I'm going to substitute that value. I'm going to replace circumference, and I'm going to say 18 and 8400. I'm going to change it to an approximation because I'm going to put the value for pi, and that gives me 2 times 3 and 1400 times r okay and so when i do two times uh three and fourteen hundred this portion is going to give me six and twenty eight hundred r so again remember this is an approximation okay and then all i'm going to do i am going to use the division property of equality i'm going to divide both sides by six and twenty eight hundred 6 and 2800 and I'm going to get the radius is approximately 3 is approximately 3 all right now uh, after that once I found the radius then I can find the area of the circle okay so now I found the radius now after this I can find the area of the circle and we know that the area of a circle is pi r squared, okay? So area of a circle is pi r squared, 
okay uh, we have gone ahead and we have found the radius so we are going to just change this to approximation and what is area area is uh, going to be pi which is 3 and 1400 and what did we calculate as the radius which was 3 so 3 squared which is going to be 9 right and so when I do 3 and 1400 times 9 I am going to get my area as 28 and 2600 uh, meter squared meter squared so this is how if i'm given the circumference i can find the area of a uh, circle so uh, let's do one last problem um, in this lesson and let's talk about uh, the exact circumference of a circle is 32 pi. So let's say this is given now. Circumference is given to me as 32 pi um, inches. Okay. And what I need to do is what is the approximate area of the circle? And we are going to use again for pi. We are going pi. We are going to use three and fourteen hundred. Okay, so circumference is given as thirty-two pi, and now uh, we need to find the area of this circle. So once again, we are going to use this formula, circumference, because we have that. All right, and we are then going to go on and find the area after that. So. What's the value of the circumference? Circumference is given to me as 32 pi. So I'm going to replace the value for C. So 32 pi is the circumference is equal to 2 pi r. Okay? 2 pi r. So in order for me to find the radius, I am going to divide, uh, use the division property of equality and divide each side by 2 pi, 2 pi and 2 pi and this becomes 1 and 1 times r is going to be r, that's my radius and then the pi and pi cancel each other out and 32 divided by 2 gives me 16. So my radius is going to be 16 now. Once I have that radius, then it becomes easy for me to substitute that value into the equation, area is equal to pi r squared, okay? So now I'm going to change this to an approximation because pi is 3 and 1400 times radius, which was given to me as 16, okay? So I have 16 squared. So then ultimately, when I do 16 times 16 times 3 and 1400, I am going to get an area which is approximately 803 and 8400 um, square inches, square inches. And so this is how I find the area of a circle when the circumference is provided to me, all right? So once again, please remember what we talked about, why there's a connection uh, between a parallelogram and circle and how we derive that formula. Uh, and the area of a circle is nothing but pi r squared. And it's very, very possible to find, uh, you know, the area using the formula and you've got to just calculate what the radius is. Remember, radius is half the diameter. Um, also, because we use approximation uh, with the value of pi, and that is why the equal to changes to the approximation sign. And then once again, the semicircle is half a circle, and so that is why when we are trying to find the area of a semicircle, it is pi r squared divided by 2, or we have 1 half pi r squared. And that would conclude our lesson 12.2 on area of circles.